Oh boy, you knew I was going to make a video on this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the General Jerry channel. And One Direction don't even want to be in this shithole as well. Uh, so, One Direction, at the very last minute, cancels their concert in Belfast. Because um, some guy by the name of Liam... Liam, yeah, I, I don't really watch One Direction, but apparently he caught sick. So, um, Tuesday night, One Direction concert in the SS Arena. I'm still gonna call it Odyssey, so fuck off. I'm still gonna call that shit the Odyssey. Apparently, it's now called the SSE Arena. SSE Arena, my balls. Anyway, um, has been cancelled at the last minute as, uh, as Liam, as, w uh, yeah, Liam has taken ill, uh, doors for the sold-out show, the first of three-night run, open on Tuesday at 6. I expect it to be a support act. Uh, the support act went ahead and performed. Fans understood uh, to have waited um, outside for around 45 minutes. And it's fucking raining right now as well. So I can't be good. Before an announcement was made on the stage at around 9pm. A statement from uh, from the PR said the show tonight has been cancelled as Liam has taken ill. Weiss not serious. He is unable to perform tonight. Please hold on to your tickets. A further statement will be made in the morning. The band apologised to the fans and wish uh, Liam better. Uh, just over an hour after the ticket holders were told the devastating news, band members Harry Styles uh, and Lewis. Lewis, uh, the only person I know is that guy Harry Styles because I don't know. I just keep hearing his name on TMZ all the time. Uh, tweeted to apologise. Deepest apologies to everyone at the show tonight. Belfast, very disappointed, but unfortunately these things happen. We are very sorry. He says, we're so sorry about what happened tonight. Uh, it was out of our control. Lots of love to Liam, and thank you for being so understanding. Some fans were really pissed off. Uh, one woman who flew out from Liverpool, Jesus, especially for the concert, said she was angry, uh, while another asked why the other three band members didn't come out the stage to tell the fans. I actually agree with that. I think that they could have had the decency to come out and tell them, but I suppose if they came out, then fans would be like, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Like all the fucking teeny boppers were like, yeah, stone cold, stone cold. -na 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 -na. <laughs> like fucking giving the middle finger to one direction. <laughs> would be quite funny. Um, another woman of those groups has been in the arena for three hours while they heard the announcement added. Why are these children put through all this? It is totally and utterly unacceptable. One direction is going to no direction. <laughs> oh, I love that woman. Huh? Bum, 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 anyway. Um, I think it was badly managed because they waited till 9 o'clock, Jesus Christ, um, until someone came out to tell us, and a lot of these people have been in since 6 o'clock, Jesus Christ. Um, there were little girls behind us that had bad manners, um, One Direction pictures on it. There were, there were little girls behind us that had bad, bad, bad big banners, sorry I say, oh Jesus it's a bit late right now for this news. Uh, One Direction pictures on it. They were crying and then they left all the wee pictures that they had on the posters on the floor. I'm sorry. It's so funny. <laughs> I'm going to hell. Um, there was no uh, consideration for the kids. They're we <laughs> I'm, so I'm sorry the Americans watching this. This is like... God, this is actually the first time I've covered a Northern Irish story in like a year. <laughs> the reach. <laughs> the wee children aren't talking about. <laughs> the wee children weren't talking about. Um. Oh, yeah, the wee children were talking about. <laughs> uh, so, uh. Fuck, I suppose I should probably give my opinion on this. Uh, first of all, there's there's no lie that I, I'm not a big fan of One Direction. It's not my uh, type of scene. Um, but, uh, you know, these things happen, you know. Um, performers do get sick. I do believe that maybe they should have... The band members should have came out and said sorry. Maybe they could have held back and signed a few signatures or whatever. Um... I believe it's like a three-day event. I don't know if they're actually staying in Belfast. Um, they will be doing a statement in the morning, so it's either refunds that or they'll not do the show at all. Um, which is um, 
which is kind of bad for them, you know what I mean? But it is kind of funny at the same time. <laughs> uh, yeah, so no dire <laughs> no direction for One Direction. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm actually yeah, it was in the. I can't believe they changed it to the SSE Arena. I'm sorry, I'm only getting news to this. Right? The thing is, I spend more time watching American news and wrestling news than I do my own fucking country. Yeah, seriously, yeah. Um, I think uh, NF Punk and um, Shadow Man can vouch for that. Like, we kind of look into more of the American stuff than we do our own place, which um, I really should do more of. But, you know, nobody really gives a shit about Northern Ireland. Um... They really don't. I mean, let's not get ourselves like. Um, so it it it's it's uh yeah you know well first of all I think that if they are gonna completely cancel the show those people should get the refunds. Um and uh, yeah um so not looking good for One Direction fans. <laughs> Alright guys, what do you think about this? Uh, is there any ideas that you think that they could have changed about this? Um, what do you think in the comments below? This is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel. Signing out.